Well, good day there, ladies and gentlemen. In my la- one of my last, very last movie files, I made it. I, I kind of sounded like I was like I hated police officers, or cops, or detectives, or you know, men of the law and stuff like that. Nothing could be further from the truth. As a matter of fact, this video is in support of good cops because I happen to know firsthand through a few experiences in my life that we got we got some crooked cops out there. You know, the, the problem is, is really not police officers. It's our crooked justice system. I mean, here these cops are out here knee-deep in human problems, so to speak, crackheads, drug dealers, murderers, you know, people driving reckless out on the highway and all this other kind of stuff. But the point being, they have got a very, very tough job. And we, I absolutely believe in law and order, but not, I don't believe when cops, you know, when they start wanting to slap leather, in other words, drag out those sidearms at every chance they get or or whatever and this John Wayne mentality that ain't cutting it neither but the problem is with a lot of police officers they don't pay them enough money some of them are ill-equipped to handle the hate and the garbage that's going on here in the United States and stuff like that and they're trying to uphold laws that here we go again laws that make no sense whatsoever. Okay, but I want to go on record for any cop that's out there. I applaud you. I support you. I'm a veteran. You know, no will will that way as long as you're being honest and, you know, not trying to shoot people every chance you get and commit crimes yourself and all this kind of stuff. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to close this file with this one last thought. Why is it that in this, that, you know, like you take like the president of the United States can only serve eight years. And I understand why our forefathers had it that way, so that we could never have a dictator. But what I've never, ever been able to figure out is why do those miserable Supreme, federal Supreme Court justices get nominations for life? Now, there's something wrong with this picture. I said nominations for life. You know, half of them cronies need to be kicked off the bench and new blood put in there. Because, you know, the way I look at these lawmakers across the United States, they just keep trying to control people by passing more laws and more laws and all that kind of stuff when half this nonsense doesn't even make any sense. Because I've said this once before and I'm going to say it again. If people were living like they were supposed to be living, we wouldn't even need a whole lot of cops out and about. So there you are with that. I just thought I'd throw this little video together and make sure I made myself perfectly clear. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.